afternoon, everyone. Steve Georgie here. I uh, wanted to go through the Allendale after the bell commentary with you guys. I've got a few charts for you today. And uh, first off, we're going to go ahead and take a look at, uh, at cattle. We had June cattle today up about 80 cents, putting us at 122.90. So finding a, a stronger move. As you see, we did jump above that 100-day moving average. We did close stronger today. A lot of guys looking at the weather over the next week, going to be warmer. So is this going to bring back in some of this beef demand? Uh, a lot of guys talking about this surge having to do with this beef demand. First warm week. So can we get the grills going? Can we get this grilling season started and really try to, try to push cattle? Uh, but the demand's got to come back. Now, we have not seen cash cattle trade yet this week. Uh, we have seen uh, some bids out there, uh, $2 a pound uh, dress basis uh, in Nebraska. Um, nothing has traded, though, yet. That's up from $1.98 last week. So last week, we saw cash cattle trade. It took about noon on Friday before we heard any numbers. Uh, we're going to be watching that again. But a uh, strong move today. We did break out of a range and jumped above that 100-day moving average. Got to be something to watch. We could be headed back up to these levels uh, once again if we do take that out between that 124 and 125 uh, area. Looking at hogs, following suit, uh, we were higher uh, today. The June contract up 77, 9177 right now, uh, but we did see a, a, a stronger move. We may be looking at uh, a little bit of a, a head and shoulders bottom here on this chart if we're able to take out some of these resistance levels. This resistance is at 92.87. So if we are able to take this out, uh, that does project up into this uh, 97 to $98 area. So what's it going to take to see that? We have seen some stronger cash markets. Uh, we do tend to get a seasonal rally right now that may project higher uh, for hogs. This does look good, but we've got to be careful. The trend right now is still down. We've got a resistant point to take out first before we can get too excited on these hogs. But as I mentioned, we might be looking at a head and shoulder bottom here. If we can take out some of the resistance level, that does project uh, a little bit higher here for hogs. But not a bad day today with June hogs up 77 cents putting together a pretty good week uh, as, far as, uh, as far as the week so far. And then I want to show you guys crude oil. I know we talked about this earlier in the week. Uh, crude oil up another $2 today. So very strong rally over the last, uh, the last few sessions. Uh, but up 2 bucks, 93.40. And that puts us right at the 100-day moving average. But also this is the 50-day moving average. So we're sitting right in between these two moving averages. Um, where could we go to? You know, we had this head and shoulders that we talked about before. That objective was met on the downside. Now we're starting to recover. So with this, uh, we've got some good resistance right above us. Uh, 95.12. Okay, that's this that's this area right in here. This is 95.12. If we are able to take that out, we're going to be looking back at this 98 dollar level. But right now, we do have some good resistance right above us. Uh, we've seen, as we talked about before, we've got expectations of seeing the European Central Banks to cut interest rates here next week. Uh, so we've got the market excited about that. The dollar has been working a little bit lower, and that has boosted the energy markets here as in the short term, as you can tell. So keep an eye on that. We've jumped up to some pretty good levels here as far as energies, but we've got good resistance just above us uh, at this $95 area. So good, uh, a good move here this week as far as crude oil. Um, give us a call over here with any questions that you might have. You can reach us at 800-262-7538. Uh, you can check us out on the web at allendale-inc.com. We do cover a lot of different markets as well, so feel free to give us a call with those questions. And I uh, hope you guys have a great day today.